Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a brand new fragrance from Izzy Miyake to review. It is a new version of Loda Izzy called O oh and Magnolia. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, how it differs from the original, my review and first impressions. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos like this, as well as my blog. I have an article that goes through all the different versions of Loda Izzy, um, so do check them out if you haven't already. And if you're a regular, do check to see if you're subscribed, turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos and you can subscribe to my newsletter in the link down below where I'll also leave the link to where you can buy this fragrance um, in UK Europe, North America, Australia and um, where it's available it is brand new and I'll also leave the link to where you can pre-order the fragrance I'm launching later this year there's only a few days left for you to do that. Cool, so the Izzy Miyake Loader Izzy, the original one, which comes in the sort of white silver packaging, has been out for quite a long time and it's a really, really great fragrance. It's one of those perfumes that you can smell on someone like a mile away, both the ladies and the men's. I've known women and men that have worn the original Loader Izzy and literally if they've been in a lift you can smell the lift afterwards you can they just become that signature scent for them and it's really great and the, the ladies one is a sort of lotusy fresh oceanic -y, watery aquatic scent it's very neutral very clean feeling and um, and not remotely sweet or it doesn't feel flowery it just feels very like clean and like the ocean but really strong so i'm always intrigued when they release a new flanker they have had so many different limited editions and flankers of this rose and roses one that they have is really nice really pretty delicate rose if you're into your roses but this new one magnolia i couldn't wait to try because i do love magnolia as a scent you guys know i really rate estee lauder's beautiful magnolia that came out the other year so um i have to say that this one definitely has the echoes the signature dna of the original loader izzy i definitely get that clean oceanic um, wateriness from it and then the other half of the fragrance is the magnolia now magnolia as far as floral notes go is one of the more lighter delicate scents it's not heavy like jasmine tuberose it's very delicate and I was reading actually that Magnolia is so old it existed it's like prehistoric it existed before bees even existed so yeah um, really <laughs> just a little interesting fact there for you hashtag soaky so facts um so I think Magnolia is a really perfect partner for Izzy Miyake Loader Izzy because they're both light quality scents so it works well with that original watery aquatic vibe it's definitely something i'd say that was more daytime because of that cleanness it still has that original cleanness and um, it's not sort of mysterious nighttime at all and it comes in the bottle and the liquid it has a slightly yellow tinge to it that magnolia soft beige and then it has a wooden lid and um, which is cool so it's very neutral the packaging is like beige neutral vibes i think it's pretty safe universal i think if you like original loader izzy you'll definitely like this because it's got so much of the signature dna in it and it, interestingly it's called it's an eau de toilette intense which is interesting to me because I thought an eau de toilette intense is like an eau de parfum. So maybe it's somewhere in between, I'm not sure. Um, but it doesn't feel super light eau de toilette. Having said that, original Eau de Izzy is an eau de toilette and smells really strong. So I feel like when it comes to Izzy Miyake, I kind of ignore whether it's an eau de toilette or an eau de parfum because they're just all really good for lasting. So I definitely think this is good for summer. If you're looking for something for summer that's got that clean, ocean feel to it um very neutral you could definitely wear this to the office professional environment that kind of vibe it's not um inappropriate for anything really i think if you live somewhere that's getting really hot in the summer this would be great but equally you could wear it you know in the winter 
for that clean vibe as well. Um, so definitely a Soki approved fragrance, another good release from Izzy Miyake. Um, guys, let me know what you think. Have you managed to try it yet? The new Loader Izzy Magnolia. Let me know what you think, how it compares to the original and which is your favourite from all the different Loader Izzy's that there have been. There's been, I think, like over 20. So let me know what your favourite's been in the comments. I do read all your comments. Um, but that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.